Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the night off. A murder indictment today for Fred Yadze. He's the Avery Ranch homeowner who shot and killed a young man who he says was intruding on his property in a threatening manner. The incident happened around 3 a.m. on February 3rd of this year at the Williamson County Courthouse. Now, KXC's David Scott reports this is a big test for the state's castle doctrine, also known as the Stand Your Ground Law. David? Robert, this castle doctrine allows homeowners or folks to protect themselves, protect their property. Many states have a version of them, but they vary by state to state. For example, do you have to be in mortal fear of your life that you might be killed or maybe something a little less? Can an engagement with someone occur on your property or off your property? And if a homeowner can safely retreat, are they obligated to do so? Those are some of the big questions that could come up in this murder trial. 47-year-old Fred Yazdi stood mute in court today before Judge Billy Ray Stubblefield. His lawyer did the talking outside. We look forward to having our day in court where we will test the proposition whether a homeowner in the dark of night has the right to defend himself and his family and property in the face of a, a man he believes to be an armed intruder. 3 a.m. on February 3rd, Yazdi says he found 23-year-old Enrique Riccio under his wife's car in the driveway. Riccio had wrecked his own car nearby. Yazdi says he told Riccio to halt, but he fled. Yazdi fired three deadly shots. Riccio's body was found some 100 feet off the Yazdi property. But defense counsel claims the media are getting some of their facts wrong. A lot of evidence that needs to be heard uh, by a jury instead of by the media which has mischaracterized a lot of the evidence so far. He wouldn't be specific, but did also take a shot at Williamson County prosecutors. We all know, and I think the world knows, don't we, that this county has indicted innocent men in the past. So we believe Mr. Yazdi is yet another example of that. Yazdi's next court appearance, August 23rd, and then... One day he'll walk out of this courtroom a free man, in my opinion. Texas created its castle doctrine back in 1995. It beefed it up in 2007 by adding the fact that you could protect yourself in the workplace or in your car. And by the way, Colorado has a castle doctrine too, much older than ours. They call theirs, it's nicknamed the Make My Day Law. David Scott, KXAN News.